Today, I want to talk about Chen2, which is a video AI, but I also want to talk about video AI in general. Hello, my friends, how are you doing? So Runway, which is the company who is creating Chen2, just announced it and shows some pretty amazing results, but also some new technology. Now, let's first have a quick look at who Runway is. It's a company, they offer online services for a lot of things you can do with AI. So when you scroll down here, you can see they have this kind of video AI generation they offer. Now that's nice because you don't need your own hardware and rendering videos, of course, can be quite hardware intensive, especially if we're going to have a higher resolution. So that might be interesting to you. Let's scroll down here where you have image generation. Now from the examples they show here, I think you could probably find better solutions for that, like for example, Playground AI, or of course your own computer with Automatic 11.11, Invoke AI, Conf AI is a lot of different choices, a lot of different models out there. But they also have, of course, out painting. They have in painting image to image render. You can train custom models. Also nice because also this needs a lot of resources. You might not have the GPU to do that. Of course, you can also do it with Google Colab. Now, another thing that's interesting here, for example, is you can remove things with the help of AI from videos. And that's actually interesting and something I don't think you can do with stable diffusion right now. Also, you can turn videos into slow motion and more things like that. What is going on with AI in general? Because in the past, we've heard about Meta AI for video and that looked really promising and they showed some really cool results here, but then quiet. We didn't hear anything about that anymore. Although when you look at the images here, that looks amazing. I want to have more of that. Why can't we play with this? Zuckerberg is doing all these kind of strange presentations instead of giving us tools to play around. Also, we have the Google AI for video Again, we didn't really hear much about that. And this looks pretty cool. It has a lot of temporal coherence in there, which means that over time, the images make sense in the style they stay together, but also in the progression. For example, when you look at the horse up there, the legs are moving, they are still connected. Or when you look at the fish swimming, the fish actually makes sense as it moves through the space. But again, nothing. Now, then we have absence. And I tried it. It's a pain to use, to be honest, because you need to set a lot of keyframes. As soon as the character is moving a little bit too much, the AI lose track of the character and it just rips the colors apart. It looks very impressive, but it is kind of hard to use. Now, of course, we have the forum stable diffusion and there you can actually do some magical things. For example, if you remember, I made a music video using stock videos and using image to image render to create in the early days of the forum this video here. And you can see the result is not too bad. It is kind of chumpy, but that was also intended by me to make it look more like an AI video rather than just a video effect. Now here we have another video that is also done with stable diffusion. This is by Timmy. Now here we have another video he created, which looks really amazing. And he's using control net. You can also see how well this works, how well this sticks to the character. And we do have a style transfer also in that. So that process really works great. I made a tutorial on my channel where you can check out step for step how to create the video. It's a call up between me and him to show you this amazing method using ControlNet and Stable Diffusion with a batch process to create these wonderful videos. Now let's go back to Chen2 and see what they actually have to offer. So they have here promotion on the video and I turned the sound off so we don't have any copyright problems. They are showing Chen1 and here you can see that you can use an image and then it will style transfer it. Of course, you also need some more information for that. You have some more settings and this is also getting better over time. So here you can also see how this has developed over time. So this is the launch model on the left side with these classic stable diffusion problems in there. On the right side, there is a much improved model still on the background here. You see that we have some of these little knots in there, these round shapes that happen with stable diffusion. But you can see that the quality is still getting a lot 
better. Now here they have a lot more examples of the creativity that the community is showing. But in Gen 2, they say they have text to video now. And that is a new thing because you don't need a video input at all. You can just generate these images. Now you will realize when you look at some of them that some of the videos look a lot better than the rest. So not all of that is text to video. I would say also when they show it later on their website, they give different descriptions for that. For example, here with this guy, you can see that the image quality suddenly is a lot better and he looks exactly like the guy we see in the scene before. So there is more happening than just text input to create that, in my opinion. But overall, the results that they are presenting are pretty amazing and it shows the potential of this technology. Now let's have a look at the website where they show different examples. Here they say no lights, no camera, all action. So you can just use a text prompt here. In that case, we have a flight of a drone over some mountains. And here on the right side, we have apparently the driving prompt for that. And you can see the nice coherence in the video also. But again, you see these little points that are created by the AI in the video. So still the quality of the rendering is not so great, but the quality of the video and how everything works as a video and is moving as the mountain is actually very, very good. Now below that, we see the guy with the beard again. So this is text plus image to video. So here it's not just text. So that alone is actually pretty cool when you say, okay, I just take one photo and then I can create a full video clip from that with my text prompt. Here we have another example. In this case, it is just image to video without a prompt. Now, again, it's pretty cool that you can do that. And this enables you to just find a stock image or any kind of other image online and then use it as an inspiration for the AI to create these videos. In this case, though, the quality again is not so great. If you look at the buildings, if it would be a drawing or a watercolor painting for that, it would be nice. But but if it is supposed to be photorealistic, then the details in the houses here are not so great. The windows are not really consistent. But what I like in this video is that down here we have some people moving around and that's pretty sick. Here's another example. This is style transfer that also has improved in Gen 2. So you can film yourself or find a video online. And then again, you use a sample image you can see here in the middle. And this will then be applied as a style to the video, which of course gives you a lot of abilities to create amazing videos without being able to animate, to create all these effects. And the next example that I really like here is storyboard. So in this case, you're filming something like the books that are acting as houses and the blue stripes to be acting as the street. And then this can be turned in the actual scene. Again, for now, the image quality is not great. But as an example, it is really cool to see that this is actually moving and orienting itself from the dimensions, from the perspective on the input video. And one thing, of course, that is important here is that with this, you can do camera movements that would be very expensive. But here you just move your smartphone over the books in between the streets. You can make crazy action flying scenes, stuff like that, and then turn it into a video afterwards. Below that, we have an example for masking. Now here, the dock is masked and then the fur is changed. It kind of works. But when I look at the mask in the video, it doesn't 100% stick to the dock. So this is not like an automated rotoscoping for the outline to create a really precise mask. But of course, again, this is an early version of that AI. And below that, we have another interesting example. This uses a 3D input of an animated 3D character. You can either download download animations from companies like mocap, which already pre-created for you. Or you can use tools like deep motion that will use a video input and then turn that into the motion for a 3D model. So overall, Gen 2 is actually presenting some pretty cool concepts here and what you can do with that. And I'm pretty sure that they will develop it to get much better quality. But until then, I absolutely suggest to you to check out my tutorial as the collab with 
Timmy to find out how to do this with Automatic 1111 because the results you can get from that are really stunning and I would say better than all of the other options I have shown you so far in this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.